I feel like I feel like this is the cusp, right? It's like it's like yeah. Min Min and Steve. Yeah, they're they're like on the brink of like the same plane. But it does not matter because we have a Pokemon trainer. Yeah. Okay. So we're not gonna see that at all. We're actually gonna be seeing. Okay, we've seen, we've seen a lot of PT, haven't we? This is like the third PT I think I've seen. Um. Yeah. This is that. Yeah. This is actually the third PT I think I've seen. And I'm not gonna lie. Um. A lot of the PTs I've seen in other tournaments switch off of Squirtle pretty frequently. So like, I'm glad I'm actually seeing a lot of Squirtle play. Um. During these. During this tournament. That was kind of weird. Like, Squirtle up B towards the ledge, and then Tin Can was kind of just riding along with it. That was kind of weird. Um, okay. Wow, what, what an in that was an interesting counter. Um, and fortunately for Bungie Boy, it was a Rage Relief and not one of the physical attacks. Whoa, okay. I'm not sure exactly how that worked, but I believe he may have been dying away there. Yeah, um, um, yeah, right now, um, Bungie Boy is kind of just, Bungie Boy's definitely mixing right oh now. Oh my god! Yeah, Bungie Boy is definitely just mixing right now, man, um, yeah, this is, yeah, this is, yeah, this is, this is, this is pretty wild. Um, he's being really aggressive with Ivysaur, and this is what I'm talking about. A lot of the PTs I've been seeing have been going off with Ivysaur and Charizard. And uh, this is this type of stuff, and I feel like in this matchup especially, um, Ivysaur can really take advantage of Ike being off stage. But you know, maybe Tin can get get a little bit of momentum, take the stock early. Um, I say maybe before like 100%, and you know, maybe see what happens, right? Um, no way, you're kidding me! Oh my god! god. Unless you got down here, and then uh, Pokemon yeah, it might just be BGs. BGs. Sweet dreams, BGs. All right, let's let, take a look at those those short stocks. And and while we're looking at these stocks, let's just look at that timer. I mean, look at how quickly these stocks went. All right, yeah, six fourteen, and then oh my god, how many seconds was it before he lost his second stock? What is it like twenty? Yeah. So like, um, I have to I have to publicly apologize to Bungie Boy for assuming he was a minimum main. Um, <laughs> I, I also have to preference that statement with you can't blame me. Your name is Bungie Boy, but at the same token, that was a pretty that was a pretty strong showing from Bungie Boy, and even furthering the lead for like George Washington, where I think that might have put it out of reach for Nagra. That was a niche little down air there too. Like it looked like it was gonna land on stage, or that like he was gonna land on stage, but didn't and uh yeah that was amazing that was uh probably one of the quickest pt games i've seen yeah do you do you think we're going to see a change from you gonna see you think we're going to see a change or from tin can or we're going to still see the ike i would not blame them for picking a character aside from ike i mean me personally i think ike does pretty decent against pt but Oh, I don't know. Those games were quite rough. Um, and they weren't even like typical flow chart games. Like it wasn't like run off near and like dare to cover ledge with IV or like flamethrower to like catch him as recovering from ledge. It was just like broad down air. So I think fiction just has to be a little bit smarter with recoveries. Yeah, but like, okay, so right now, okay, we're going to Yoshi's, and as an Ike, as as Ike, I could definitely see the pick, but now you just lost your stock. And I saw that coming, right? Because I already saw, like, at the beginning of the game, Bungie Boy did, like, a quarter charge, and once the routine came off the stage, that was, that was pretty academic. Yeah, I know you mentioned earlier that you like to see a lot more of that squirrely usage, and you're definitely seeing it pay off right here. Doesn't even need the IV, just getting these really nice strengths with the up bears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Normally. Ooh, okay, that was that was a that was a nice horse match to knock Squirtle back off stage. And you know, I'm liking I'm liking the aggression come out from Tin Can, right? Because when you're down at the def at a deficit, sometimes you need to do some stuff to get something going. So, you know, throwing out some unexpected smash attacks, you know, 
can try to get you a little bit of momentum on your side, but right now it seems like Bungie Boy is just um um putting put him in the blunder. Yeah, blunder that he cannot escape. Look at this tremendous lead, and he's not getting much. Yeah, you. Is that yeah, it, it happens. It happens. Yeah, you you know missing text like that. Um, yeah, it happens. It's, especially in Squirrel, it's like pretty. That's a stop. Um, let's see if Tin can. <gasps> oh, I. I'm not gonna lie. I thought he was gonna get down aired. Um, but good attempt by Tin Can though, trying to get that stock and got Bungie Boy off stage with the back air. Let's see if he could get this. Okay, I respect the hold. I, I respect the hold on that. Perfect run off air. That's exactly what they needed. Yeah, and that's it's definitely what Tin Can needs right now. I'm um, to get a little bit of momentum started going into this next stock. Um. All right, good down tilts to cause pressure on the shield. Oh god, another up B follow-up. These are just getting more and more creative by the minute. Yeah, and it does a lot of damage too. And you know, I know, like, I've been seeing a lot of these up B routes come out for the squirrel tree, like I, recently, like I was saying earlier. And it just does a lot of damage. And you know, especially when you're in the lead, it doesn't expect otherwise than that is. Um, that's the game. That's set. That was. Pretty quick work from Bungie Boy. These are some of the fastest games I've ever seen from a PT. Yeah, that was um, that was a set. That was a set. Chris, I, I can't even remember the amount of matches I've gone through so far. Where's that? Their third, fourth match? Can't that even was remember. That was um that was set number four, I believe. Yeah, that was set number four. Yeah, right. And right now we have a uh, flubber coming up for Niagara, and we also have um Rip Van Winkle. <laughs> we have we have <laughs> Rip Van Winkle for George Washington University. So we have we have one more set right now. Um, but mathematically right now, I think that Niagara is just out of it mathematically. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, playing games, you know, geez. Um. So, uh, we could, now we're going to see what they have to offer. Niagara goes out with the Blazing Fury. 